If you were to walk up to a stranger in the street and say to them, National Lampoon, they would probably finish off the sentence by saying, Christmas Vacation. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is one of those Christmas movies that I didn't really grow up with. It wasn't one I watched until about like five or six years ago. It, my mom actually showed it to me, and she watches like no movies. It's like Jaws, Alien, and then like Lifetime movies. That's about it. However, she was like, hey, you want to watch this National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation with me? I'm like, I've actually always wanted to watch that. And we watched it, and yeah, the movie wore me down. It, it's great. Again, this is another Christmas movie where if you've clicked on this video, you have watched it multiple times. So me saying the plot is rather superfluous. However, to those who have never seen it, it tells the story of Clark Griswold, played by Chevy Chase, who is essentially trying to give his kids and his family the dream Christmas vacation that he always wanted. And everything goes straight down, straight to hell. Basically, this movie works because of the snappy dialogue, the jokes that, for the most part, have held up very well, and Chevy Chase. Like, he makes this whole thing work. He gives his 110% to this. Especially certain scenes which... I could quote them, but I would forget a few words. Essentially, like, he's going, he's slowly going insane throughout this whole movie. Like, he's going mad, trying to give his family the perfect Christmas, and everything is just not going well at all. But what I see from this movie is Clark Griswold is coming from a good place. He's trying to give his family something that he probably never had. And when something goes wrong, it genuinely sticks in his craw. It's not like a... It's not like dark humor. Like, there is some dark humor in there, and it's very funny. But ultimately, Clark Griswold is a very sympathetic character. It also helps that Chevy Chase's comic timing is like 10 on 10. There are several moments where he drops a one-liner, and it's like... He just made that scene better. And Chase has a lot of comic foils to play off of. Specifically, Cousin Eddie, played by Randy Quaid. Now, to be completely honest, when I first saw this movie, I wasn't exactly a big fan of this character. I thought he was very just annoying. Like, I get that it was his job. It's like the Roger Ebert quote. That I admire what he did, and I hate it. However, the more I watch it, the more I recognize that, like, like Cousin Eddie is the perfect straight man to Clark Griswold. It's like the two just work together so well. And it's especially funnier when you consider that next door to the Griswolds are two of the most stuck-up people you will ever see. One of them is played by Julia Louise Dreyfus, who would go on to have great success with Seinfeld and, and Veep, among other things. These two are like... I hate using the term yuppie because it's just... It's a very buzzy word, and I don't like to use buzzwords. I would rather just use traditional English language rather than, hey, look at that yuppie over there. It's like, it's a buzzword. I don't like to use it. However, these two are yuppies. These are like yuppies with the volume turned up to 11. They're snobs. They, like, they don't really have any Christmas-related wares at all. It, like, they have, their home is perfectly symmetrical. <laughs> it just, it, like, they're just, they just walk into every one of Griswold's, like, traps, if you will. One of my favorite lines in the movie, I can't repeat because I'm uh, I'm not sure who will be watching this, but it essentially involves a tree and the yuppie husband's backside. That's all I'll say. And at the end of the day, there are several instances where the movie kind of borderlines on you're getting kind of annoying movie. However, thanks to the strength of Chevy Chase, everything kind of balances out. And at the end of the day, I think why this movie has lasted as long as it has in terms of relevancy is that we know a Clark Griswold. I know a couple of people just like that. Now, to be fair, Clark Griswold is like, I'm sure it's like Chevy Chase with the volume turned up to 11. And if a Clark Griswold existed today, he'd probably be arrested a couple times. But we all know with these tendencies, or at least I do. So if for some reason you have never seen this movie, do check it out. I will say, though, there is some very salty language, but that's just a 
that's just a that's just a consequence of it being the late 80s and well that's just how family movies were back then you're gonna have to cover your kids ears on occasion but other than that take them too it's great <laughs>